Hi everyone, 안녕하세요. This is Ava and welcome to my channel. In this channel, we talk about everything you have to know about skincare, beauty, lifestyle, basically everything to get your skin and mind glowing inside and out. And today we are going to be talking about a very highly requested topic, which is whiteheads. Before we get into the details, let's start off by discussing what exactly are whiteheads and what causes them. So whiteheads are pimples trapped in your pores because of dead skin cells, makeup, fine dust, and a lot of other external factors. And then when this excess sebum cannot escape your pores in time, it keeps continuing to pile up and that is what causes the little white bumps that appear on your skin. And that is exactly what we call whiteheads. So whiteheads typically tend to happen a lot more for people who have dry and sensitive skin because if you do have dry skin, your skin is going to think, oh, it's so dry, I need to produce even more oil. So by producing even more oil, that causes extra sebum. Um, so when the sebum cannot escape in time, that is what leads to more whiteheads building up. And because this is the reason why whiteheads can form, it is crucial to make sure that you have that right balance of oil to water within your skin so it can tell your skin to produce just the right amount of moisture but not excess oil. So now how are whiteheads different from blackheads? So blackheads are when the pores actually stick out from the skin level and it, you can actually visibly see it. However, whiteheads are one that are beneath the skin's dermy level. And because blackheads are when the sebum actually comes out of the pore, it is able to be treated by external treatments such as you know cleansing oils, um, a lot of pore extractors that I talked about in my previous video. However, whiteheads, they're not actually out of the surface, so they do have to be treated a little differently. And that's exactly what we're gonna get into in today's video. And the important and scary part about whiteheads is that if it's not treated properly especially in the beginning stages this can have the potential to actually potentially cause even more acne um, across your face so in today's video i'm going to be discussing the four biggest causes of whiteheads and the solutions for each four of the causes number one broken water to oil balance number two excess sebum production number three bad cleansing habits and number four a weak gut health let's start with number one which is broken water to oil balance and the easiest solution to this is inner beauty and what do i mean by that it means to drink more water and yes i don't want to be that girl who tells you to drink more water because to be honest with you i certainly don't, don't drink that much water at home too but I'm telling you, drinking plenty of water to make sure that there is a lot of water going into your system is really, really important to make sure that that water and hydration gets reflected in your skin so your skin doesn't get confused on whether it is too dry or too oily. Because as I said in the beginning, one of the major causes of whiteheads is when your skin starts to produce even more sebum than it actually needs. Number two, excess sebum production. And this is when a really good product comes into play. And with excess sebum production, a really good technique is to gently exfoliate your skin. And because unlike blackheads, where you can actually treat the um, surface level blackheads by kind of extracting it and stuff, with whiteheads, you really, really can't do that. So you have to do with a different technique. And one of the most effective effective techniques for this is by using a peeling gel. However, it is very important not to also sensitize your skin because a lot of peeling gels out in the market can actually be really harsh for your skin, especially if you do have sensitive skin. So before you just go out and buy a peeling gel or a peel off pack, make sure to be really cautious about the ingredients and make sure it does have really soothing ingredients. So out of all the peeling gels that I have tried, one of my favorite favorites is this April Skin Calendula PA a hyaluronic peeling gel. So the main ingredient in this, as you can tell from the name, is calendula, which helps to soothe and calm your skin, and it's known for its healing properties. And on top of that, it does have PHA, which is one of the most gentle forms of exfoliating, chemical exfoliants, actually. And then it also has hyaluronic acid to kind of make sure your skin doesn't feel too tight and dry, even after using a peel 
gel like this. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how exactly this product works and why it is so unique. So with this one, it goes through three different steps in just 30 seconds of you using this. And make sure to only use this for 30 seconds, maximum one minute, because you don't wanna over irritate your skin. So the first way this works is that once you start massaging it onto your skin, the papaya enzyme and the PHA works to unglue your dead skin cells from the skin's surface. And then by that process, second, the, these kinds of flakes start to form that rolls away these dead skin cells as you gently massage it. And then lastly, the hyaluronic acid and the calendula works to really hydrate your skin back so that your skin doesn't feel too dry. If you do have some kind of surface level whiteheads on your forehead or nose area, kind of focus a little bit more on that area. But seriously, this is so effective and you can use it about like once a week and that's pretty much it. So after going in with this peeling gel, um, a very good pair to go in with that is actually the Salandula 10% THA AHA Resurfacing Serum. The reason why this resurfacing serum is a perfect pair to go with after the peeling gel is because after your skin has been a little bit more sensitized and the dead skin cells have been kind of glued out of your skin, this actually helps to get that pore tightening effect. The serum is especially great because it does have a very unique blend of PHA and AHA, both pretty gentle forms of exfoliation. So the PAJ especially helps to kind of really gently exfoliate the surface level um, bacteria and dirt, while the AHA helps to tighten your pores so that it doesn't um, leave your pores kind of out in the open. So the way I especially love to use this after the peeling gel is by using a little cotton pad and kind of soaking the cotton pad with this serum and focusing that just kind of on my um, areas where I have a little bit more whiteheads. So for that, it's usually around my nose. So I'll create like a mini nose pack on my nose after the peeling gel and then for the rest of my face i'll apply the serum once again for that really hydrating effect and overall i think after using this because it has the exfoliating and the soothing and the hydrating properties it really really helps to kind of help with the skin rough texture and also give you more radiant skin so i'm really really loving this duo and just like the first point, you wanna make sure the water to oil balance is correct in your system. So you can do that by of course drinking water, but also just to deeply hydrate your skin, never to make your skin think that it is actually dry. So on top of the nose pack, you can actually use even like a sheet mask over it to further hydrate your skin. And another technique is like if your skin feels a little bit, you know, tighter after using this peeling gel, um, they can actually use a Sika powder like this one from Costa Rex. And what I actually love doing, this is a technique that I discovered, is that you mix a little bit of the Sika powder with another moisturizer. Typically I use something that is very barrier, skin barrier friendly cream like this one from Skin Lab. Mix these two um, with a cotton swab like this, and then I'll apply it on um, over my Face and kind of like sleep with it. So it's a perfect like nighttime treatment for me. Um, you just don't necessarily have to go in with this, but I highly recommend that method for people who do have more sensitive red skin. If you don't, just go in with another favorite of your moisturizer just to make sure that you have an ample, ample hydration. And third is cleansing properly. And this may be a given, but there you'll be surprised by how many people don't actually completely wash off their makeup at the end of the day even if you're wearing no makeup just sunscreen i hope is to make sure you go in with a proper double cleanse and even with double cleansing you know don't over cleanse obviously um but just don't like rub your face and think you're done with it and if you need use a cleansing device to make sure you're really getting into the edges some parts that you may not necessarily touch while cleansing because that can actually build up and you know when the dirt builds up that will cause even more whiteheads to build up so it's really important that you have a very clean canvas to go in with every morning. And lastly is gut health. So with whiteheads, unlike blackheads, is where inner beauty is very, very important. So beyond just making sure you hydrate your body with by drinking a lot of water, you also wanna make sure that your gut is friendly. So this is something that I emphasize all the time in my channels is that you have to make sure your gut is um, in a really good shape because gut health equals skin health. 
I think whether you have gut problems or not, every single person should be taking probiotics on a daily, daily basis. As someone who does suffer from IBS, I've tested out so many probiotics out in the market. And I have to tell you, like these two are favorites. This one is Seed um, and this is from Nuco. So I did want to make sure that I emphasize the inner beauty part of this video today. Beyond just having your system to be completely clean, also make sure you um, are sleeping a lot and also not stressing too much because all of those factors can actually work reflect on your skin, believe it or not. All right, so that was it for my four main causes of whiteheads and the solutions for each of them. And to summarize, the first is to make sure you drink a lot of water to bring back the water to oil balance in your system. Second is by using skin friendly products like this one from April Skin to gently exfoliate, but also add back the moisture level into your skin just to make sure your skin is never dehydrated. Third is to actually properly cleanse your face every single day to prevent any kind of dirt and sebum buildup. And lastly is all about inner beauty, especially as it relates to gut health. So to make sure you take your probiotics every single day. Well, that was it. And I really, really hope this video was informative for you guys. Um, and I really look forward to bringing back more helpful skincare videos like this. So if you would like to learn more, then make sure to subscribe to my channel here below and also follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Glowadeva. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys next.